What's going on guys? This is Vince with vshred.com and in today's video I got seven tricep exercises for anybody looking to get bigger arms. in today's video I'm going to show you seven different tricep exercises that are great for anybody looking to build their triceps. Now I made a video uh, just recently about biceps as well, seven best bicep exercises for anybody trying to build bigger biceps. If you want to check that out, click the card up here. You can go check that video out after this video. Um, also if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, uh, welcome to the video. I'm happy that you're here. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button and join the V-Shred fam here on YouTube. I got videos coming all the time. I take suggestions all the time. I do giveaways all the time. So make sure you're hitting the subscribe button and the little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you actually get notified when I post a new one. So uh, let's go ahead and get into this video. Now, the first exercise that I'm gonna be doing is a close grip bench press. So I got a just regular bench press here. Close grip is basically just going to be a closer grip than the regular grip. Now, the biggest issue when people do close grip is that they go too close. This right here is not good on your wrist at the top and it's especially not good on your wrist at the bottom. This is a horrible position for your wrist to be in. Instead, you want them in a strong position, which is going to be right there. Normal position, strong, close grip position, allowing you to still tuck your elbows. So grabbing this just inside shoulder width, you're going to lift this up. You're going to have that in and then as you lower this bar, you're going to lower it down lower on your body than you would a regular bench press. The regular bench press would be somewhere up here. You're going to be down here. You're gonna keep those elbows tucked. You're going to press up through and back down. Elbows staying tucked, going down below where you normally would and back up. Down, elbows tucked, up. And keeping the elbows tucked throughout the entire movement, really focusing on pushing with your triceps. So that's gonna be exercise number one. All right, exercise number two, but before I get into that, I'm gonna throw this in there. If any of you are looking to build muscle or burn fat or lose weight, a couple exercises, not gonna do it. You gotta know what your body type is. You gotta know exactly what the training plan that you need to be following is and the diet specifically for your body type. If you wanna learn that, I have a link in the description below this video that'll tell you exactly what your body type is and exactly what to do to get in shape. So go check that out. But let's get to the second exercise, which is going to be a skull crusher, easy bar skull crusher. So I like doing these skull, uh, these skull crushers on an inclined bench. It just helps me feel it better in my triceps. Um, but one thing that's a little different with my form than I think most people's form is most people start right here. My issue with starting right here, it's great when you're going down, it's great right here, you feel it in your triceps, but you press it up and you get up to the top and I'm no longer putting tension on my triceps. I'm pretty much just resting because my arm is straight up and down versus starting back here. Now my tricep is already being engaged. I can go down, I can keep my elbow in that same spot. I can feel the stretch of my tricep and then I can press this weight out and get all the way to a straight arm and I can still be working my tricep. So full extension of that elbow and I can still work the tricep versus right here, full extension, straight arm, I'm not working my tricep. Working it, not working it. So starting position, go down and kick it back out, squeezing on the tricep. Down, kick it back out, squeezing on the tricep. So that's gonna be exercise number two. All right, the third exercise that we got is an overhead dumbbell extension. Now, this is great for pretty much anybody who, whether you're trying to go heavy or if you're going a little lighter for high reps, you just wanna be careful of your elbow placement during this exercise. It does get a little more difficult to keep your elbows tucked in when you go heavy. So I just got a 50 pound dumbbell here. Um, it's also a little bit difficult for some people to get into this. So if you have someone handing the dumbbell to you, a little bit easier on your shoulders when you do that. Um, but So you're gonna get this dumbbell over your head. From there, what you're gonna do is really focus on keeping your elbows, almost like there's a band around both your elbows, pulling them together. And you're gonna take this weight and you're going to drop it back behind your head, really focusing on getting your elbows just past 90 degrees, keeping those elbows together, and then pressing this weight up, keeping those elbows together, and squeezing out at the top. So a nice controlled motion, not letting your elbows come out like this, 
This is what you see a lot, guys going too heavy and looking like this. Want your elbows in, squeezing it up, going back down. Elbows together, squeezing it up, going back down, elbows together the whole time. So that's gonna be exercise number three. All right, exercise number four is going to be a cable extension. Now this one can vary widely, uh, basically meaning that you can use a bunch of different attachments if you want personally. I like the V grips a lot because it gets your wrists in a nice comfortable position to push down all the way. I like the ropes. I like doing single arm extensions. Um, I like even doing, I like doing a bunch of different extensions, but this one allows for really uh, heavier weight than normal just simply because your wrists are gonna be in a nice strong position throughout the entire thing. But what you wanna do here is first get into the starting position. And this is not gonna be your starting position because when you press the weight down, when you're right up next to it, when you're down at the bottom, your arms are damn near parallel to this cable. When you're parallel to the cable, there's not gonna be as much tension on your tricep versus a simple step back. Now I am less parallel to this cable and there is more tension on my tricep. So going up to the top, this is gonna be your starting position. Just past 90 degrees with your elbows and a nice strong position, your chest out, shoulders back, you're going to press this weight down, keeping your elbows tucked in, squeeze out at the bottom, really focusing on that tricep mind muscle connection, going back up in a nice controlled manner up to just past 90 degrees and pressing back down, squeezing at the bottom. Back up past 90 degrees, squeezing at the bottom. But you're not going too high to where now you can create a little bit of momentum. You don't want any of this, none of this. You want controlled just like that, controlled just like that. So that's gonna be exercise number four. All right, the fifth exercise that I'm gonna be showing you, and I kind of mentioned it in the last one, but I'm just gonna show you about the, uh, the single arm cable extension because it is such a good one. Now you can use this with a handle, or you can simply just grab this black um, rubber ball right here and just use that as your uh, grip for the extension. Um, either way, it's gonna be great. One thing that I personally really don't like is an underhand grip. That's just really just going to make it more difficult on your on your arm to get this weight down and it's not really going to be adding anything to your tricep. So just having this overhand right here is going to make it a lot stronger. It's going to be the same thing with the any kind of other cable extension. You're going to step back slightly and you're going to be in your starting position right here. So just past 90 degrees, then you're going to take this weight and you are going to drive it down to the side of you. One thing you want to be careful of is not to drive it down into your body like that. You want to drive it down and you want to get that full, like almost as if you're not trying to push any weight down and you're just extending your elbow. Do you extend your elbow down here? Do you extend your elbow out? Or do you extend your elbow straight down? Well, extending your elbow straight down is what's gonna work that tricep. So really focus on just getting that elbow to go straight down. So you're gonna be standing slightly to the right. You're not standing straight to this. You're standing slight to the right. You're gonna start at 90 degrees. Push it down, squeeze at the bottom, go back up. Just control it, squeeze it down to the bottom, control it on the way back up. If you wanna do it with that rubber ball, more than welcome. Control it on the way back up. Squeeze it down, control it on the way back up. So that's gonna be exercise number five. All right, exercise number six is going to be another cable extension, but it's going to be an overhead tricep extension. Again, you can use this with a number of different attachments here. Personally, I like the rope for this one because you're not gonna be going so, so heavy to where it could end up hurting. I know sometimes when I'm doing regular rope extensions, I go heavy enough to where it starts bruising my pinky. These, you're not really gonna be going heavy enough because your elbows are elevated up above your head, which is also gonna be great for working that, that long head of your tricep, which is that big bulky piece. So you're gonna be grabbing this rope up above your head and then you wanna get into a nice strong position. The biggest mistake you can make is not being in a strong position because you're gonna be going all over the place and you're gonna be creating a bunch of momentum. So from there, you want to, I guess the biggest thing you could do, biggest mistake is actually not have your elbows locked into place. If you see any guys extending this and kind of moving your elbows with it, that's not good. Because basically when you move your elbows down, you're gonna be working muscles that are not your tricep. This takes no tricep. So. From here, what you're gonna do is get into a nice strong position, keep those elbows in the same spot the whole time. From there, you're going to take your arms and you are going to extend them out. 
So you're not extending them down, you're extending them out away from your body. And then you don't really, people always think that you need to open or you need to turn your wrist at the bottom. That's a myth. What you really wanna do is just focus on what your arms do naturally, which is come out straight. So people think that you're supposed to go like this and then twist your wrist. That does not affect your tricep. This affects your tricep. So just by going straight out, what your wrist will normally do, naturally do, is come out to almost where you're like this. So you're gonna start like this, end like that, and that's just going to be the natural movement of the tricep. So coming out, that's gonna be your start finished position. So getting elbows in the same spot, pushing it out away from your body, just like that. Controlled motion coming down. You're not going back too far like this to where you can create momentum. You're gonna stop right here, push it out, come back, stop right there, push it out. Nice controlled motion, keeping tension on the tricep that whole time. So that's gonna be exercise number six. And exercise number seven, we got dumbbell kickbacks. Some videos about these in the past, a great tricep exercise, but done wrong a lot. So let's make sure you're not doing it wrong. So you're gonna get into position, dumbbell kickbacks is when you just see people getting these dumbbells and kicking it back. A great tricep exercise, but the issue, you see them doing it exactly how I'm doing it right now. Because right now, my elbow is just in line with my body, which is fine if my body's like this, but my body ain't like that. If my body's up like this, you want your elbow to be pretty much parallel to the ground or even higher than parallel to the ground because if it's lower than that, you're not going to be getting the most out of this because my tricep is only being worked, right? If I'm not parallel to the ground, it's only being worked right now because as soon as my arm is straight down to the ground, not being worked. As soon as it's at a slight angle, it's being worked. So you need that elbow as high as you can so that you can get a longer range of motion of your tricep being worked. So your starting position is actually going to be with your elbow up pretty much as high as you can get it. And then your starting position is going to be right there. So not here, not here, elbow up, slightly out, tricep being worked already. Then kick that weight back, squeeze at the top, keep that elbow in the same spot, that's a tricep kickback. But what you see all the time is guys dropping it down and they almost do like a bicep curl and kick it back like this. And they're getting like 70 pound dumbbells. When you're doing a tricep kickback, right? This is a very difficult exercise to use more than 20, 30 pounds. I'm using 10 pounds right now. I could get a great exercise with 10 pound dumbbells when I'm doing this right. So make sure you're doing it right. That's exercise number seven. If you're looking to build your all around physique, if you're trying to lose weight, if you're trying to build muscle, if you're trying to burn belly fat, you have to know what your body type is. If you wanna know what your body type is and you wanna know exactly what to do to get in shape for your specific body type, I have a free body type quiz. Check it out, click the link in the description below this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you like this video, make sure you're clicking the thumbs up button below, comments in, down in the comment section, and that's all. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next